Hey everybody, it's Joe Durrani from Ample Property Solutions, online here with Prosper on the Online Prosperity TV show. Gonna talk to you about everything property investing. Welcome to yet another exciting episode of the Online Prosperity Show. And today we've got Joe from Ample Property Solutions, and he's gonna be telling us how he helps Australians to invest in property using the equity they already have in their existing homes or servicing. And he also will be telling us the right education, the right strategy, and the right team that you need in order to invest properly um, in your investments. Now, Joe, did I say that right? Prosper, Matt, it's an absolute pleasure to be here. How you doing? Fantastic. Well, obviously, it's just past the weekend and you were away on a, um, you know, a wedding and you're back in work and, you know, helping entrepreneurs to actually start a wealth building journey. Tell us a little bit about what you do there, Joe, and how you help entrepreneurs that are um, you know, looking to build their wealth using property as a vehicle. Yeah, look, so just, uh, just to sum it up nice and clear, we're property investment specialists and basically we pride ourselves on education and helping and guiding our clients to invest in property safely, backed by a team of experts to enable them to create wealth and to build towards their, you know, their retirement and their future. Uh, but the biggest thing of all is, you know, and, and everybody's unique in, in their own current circumstances, but the best thing about it is obviously the legacy that they're building. Great stuff. Obviously, when it comes to legacy, you know, you're preparing a future for those, um, you know, you haven't seen, et cetera, et cetera. So what sort of people do you work with? What level of, um, you know, expertise does somebody has to come to you in order for them to start becoming an investor? Absolutely. So look, uh, you know, our business model has a few different options, you know, for first time investors, for savvy investors, for, you know, your mums and dads and so on and so forth. But my avatar sort of clientele that we love to help is first time investors, especially in the younger generation in and around that 25 to 35 mark where, you know, they're busy pre professional couples and they're looking to really get their feet, you know, foot in the door when it comes to entering the property market. But having that guidance and support from day one can really uh, have, a, have a plan for them in place and a strategy for them in place so that they can really succeed in uh, and becoming a property millionaire, as they say. Understandable. Well, without brick and mortar these days, obviously you, you're really heading nowhere real fast with whatever investment strategy you might have. No, Absolutely. these days people are being prone and being uh, subjected to, you know, uh, different <clears throat> investment strategies like you know the bitcoin and all those things which i don't really condone or don't really support what what is it um about property that still makes it a very powerful asset class um as compared to everything else that's there on the market at the moment well prosper you've actually said it best it is the most powerful uh vehicle out there to create wealth for you in your future uh, it's a known fact. You can go back in the, in, the, in the past, in history, and shows you how property has always performed strongly. I'm not here to say that property doubles every seven to 10 years like the experts are saying. What I am saying is that property does grow significantly if you can hold on to the property. And that's uh, you know, one of the secret sources that we talk to our clients about, which is the holding phase uh, in property. You're always going to create wealth. You're always going to do well in property. It's just a matter of how you strategize that plan and if you can afford to hold on. And, and you know, I just want to reiterate, there's no other asset class out there that's safer for you to be able to create the wealth uh, that you desire and the nest egg that you need to build so that you can retire comfortably on. Understandable. I really appreciate you for, for you know, opening up that because a lot of um, the younger ones are really um you know they're, they're, they're really being taken a, a, a back using all these other funny investment models which are not going to help them in the future and also there's a really big statistic that's in here in australia you did mention that holding a piece of property would double say in seven years or or whatever grow time. significantly yeah i mean i mean i understand i understand but why is it that one in only well, I mean, one in 10 Australian adults actually go on and invest in property. Is it that difficult? It's not that difficult. It, uh, you know, the, when I say that, I say that bluntly um, because the biggest thing that, uh, you know, a lot of people uh, associate with property is that, you know, there's a big debt involved. So there's a lot of fear uh, going into it. 
they know for a fact that it's a good thing to do, but it's not, it's just they don't have the right mentors behind them and the right team of experts to really uh, guide them through the process because it can get scary. It can get uh, overwhelming uh, to try to do this all on your own. But when you have people there that actually care about what you're trying to build towards and you actually know what that why is, then, uh, you know, the investing in property sort of strategy is very simple. Great stuff. All right. You did mention fear. I mean, I do remember when we had to um, conduct our first purchase, we had to uh, go into 500 different offices with financial planners, mortgage brokers, accountants, real estate agents, investment firms, and all those people and all those moving parts. It might be very daunting to somebody who just wants a plug and play. How do you help people uh, consolidate all of that into just one seamless transaction, you know, Process. so that you eliminate the fear of meeting all these uh, different offices there? Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, look, um, for me, I'd like to start off with what we specialize in, or actually I should say what we care about most is actually our clients and we have their best interests at heart first and foremost. So when you have a, a company that's got a foundation of all the resources that you need, like what you've mentioned, financial planners, mortgage brokers, uh, the estate agents and so on and so forth, we eliminate all that fear and stress by going through the process with them and actually providing all those resources for them. Uh, and because it's people that, you know, we're not internally, they're all external partners. So there's no conflict of interest. All right. So, so Joe, that's, that's really amazing. Now as property advisors, you literally walk people through um, how simple it is to start with the first property. Walk us through what then happens after somebody has picked up the one property or is one property enough as an investor? Well, I'd like to start off by saying one property is definitely not enough. I mean, these days, uh, quoted by many, many successful uh, entrepreneurs and businessmen and women, uh, that you need roughly around $1.6 to $1.8 million for a couple to actually retire comfortably to sustain uh, their lifestyles uh, you know, throughout retirement. Uh, so one property is definitely not enough. Now, when it comes to investing through our process, we actually keep them, uh, you know, we call it the, the rinse and repeat model, which is we review their numbers, we review their situation and circumstances, and also as they grow, their goals grow and change as well and, and evolve. Uh, and so basically we then uh, show them a, a plan or a strategy to then um, invest into their second and third and fourth and so on, depending on what they're trying to build towards. So everybody's unique. We've got the same concept, the same strategy, but we personalize it based on each, uh, each client that we face. Understandable. So one of the things that you also do is help Australians invest in property using the equity that they already have in their existing home or in their service savings. Now, how, how does that, you know, um, help people that are afraid that they don't have a, a good start, um, you know, um, or capital to start investing in properties? Uh, I really appreciate that, you, that you've asked that question. And it's not only the equity that's in their specific uh, you know, place of residence. It could be uh, people leveraging the houses of their parents and the equity of their parents. And it's actually a lot safer than what it used to be. So that's why we, we um, you know, like to show them that there is a route for them that they can get into the market now rather than waiting you know, a year or two for them to save. Especially like nowadays, uh, imagine your kid and my kid. I mean, they're going to need at least one hundred and fifty to two hundred thousand to get into the market uh, when when they get to the to their you know the age that they uh, need to start looking at these adult you know investing types. <laughs> Understandable. Well, my my little girl is already raiding the pantry right now, so I can imagine that's her life goal. <laughs> but it's 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 very safe now for for the parents as well because it's not actually um, and I don't want to go dive too much into it because I'm not a mortgage broker, but. but with the learnings and with the education and with the experience that I have now, I can touch on it a little bit. Uh, it's, it, they're actually not going to be liable for the, the whole loan, if that makes sense. They're only liable for the amount that they can leverage off, that the kids, uh, so to speak, or the, or the, you know, the, the adults uh, that they've helped, uh, that they're only using that equity to, to help uh, you know, deposit for a property. Right. There's going to be a lot of education that needs to be uh, instilled because if, if a parent thinks, okay, I've worked all my life, now would I have to remortgage or refinance um, my house just so that Sally can have a little apartment? <laughs> you know, it, it's, it's exactly. just going to be um, weird. So 
what is it that then you take your clients through uh, in order to, you know, provide them with a quality, um, you know, education and also whatever research to make sure that the property that they have purchased is something that's going to be pegged for um, capital growth? Absolutely. Absolutely. Thanks for asking. So we've got a, like a seven step personalized freedom plan, so to speak, where basically we supply the whole guidance because we know that, you know, the reason why you like the, the statistic that you shared earlier, um, you know, those people do not take action uh, through or to investing as a strategy for them uh, is because everybody or most of them lack guidance, direction and planning. So we supply the guidance and the team that's going to help them through that whole process. Number one. Number two, we'll look at where they are now and where they want to go in the future so that we can personalize a, a strategy that's going to be uh, based on their circumstances, based on what they want to achieve. Thirdly, we then, uh, you know, see what they can afford to achieve, what they can do, uh, you know, uh, instead of people assuming what they can afford to do. Uh, and then from there, we then basically source the right opportunity that's going to best fit for their circumstances uh, today and also moving forward. And the way we source property is through research houses that we are also aligned with and associated with, but also we have a property investment analysis software that takes us through the numbers to make sure, ensure that we're also investing in the right opportunities and that the numbers make sense. Because, you know, I could talk about, you know, property investing and the reasons why for days and days, uh, but, you know, at the end of the day, it's numbers. If that makes sense, then it's a great investment. If it doesn't, then it's not a good investment. Uh, and then from there, we obviously then, uh, you know, manage the property portfolio for you through our property investment uh, analysis software and also guiding you with um, or aligning you with property managers, uh, you know, once the property is complete because we do specialize mainly in the home and land sectors uh, in master plan communities. Uh, and, you know, all of this ties into research that we do. There's a lot of infrastructure, sorry, research that we take into consideration uh, prior to recommending or sourcing a property. All right. And then we take them through the, you know, the rinse and repeat strategy. Right. This sounds all very exciting. Um, I'm just going to take you back a little bit. You did mention something in the, in the tune of when somebody wants to retire comfortably in Australia, they should have plus or minus 1.6 million. Is it something, something Today. like that? Now, how, how, how do people calculate that they need that much? Or do you have tools on your website that people can actually utilize to um, make that calculation? Yeah, absolutely. Look, this is one of the biggest things that uh, when we sit down with our clients to actually uh, make them aware of what, where they stand. So that, you know, the second part of our seven, uh, seven uh, personalized um, formula is basically to understand what your financial circumstances are, what your snapshot is. So on our website, we've got a financial freedom calculator that basically works out for them roughly how much they're going to need to retire on and to sustain and maintain that lifestyle that they, uh, that they deserve. I'm not going to say dream of. Okay. So I'm going to have to stop drinking coffees. Is that a way that I can save my way to uh, an investment property? Right. <laughs> I mean, if you think about it, uh, you're looking at, you know, from, from retirement age and everybody wants to retire at different ages. Uh, but if you, if you, even if you look at the average, you know, 65, from 65, we're living uh, up until about 85 now. So there's 20 years that you've got to plan and budget for. And nobody's going to look after the old you when you, you, when you get that, uh, when you get to that age. You're the only one. So if you're 30 or 40 or 50, you've got this time to be able to build to what it is that you need. Some need, you know, 100,000 a year to sustain and maintain that lifestyle. Some need 50. Some live a frugal life. Some live just a, you know, decent life. And uh, you know, it, it's, it's scary to say, but at the same time, uh, it's good that people become aware of how much they truly need. And it's not the 100,000, because if they think 100,000, that's all they're going to build towards. But if they're thinking $1.6 million, now they, they've got more reason to build and invest and start to make things happen for themselves, because nobody else is going to do it for them. All right. So obviously, this tool is on your website. How can people then get a hold of you there, Joe? Oh, look, they can, you know, they can contact me directly on, uh, you know, on my email. So joe at amplepropertysolutions.com.au. Uh, otherwise, they can get in contact with, uh, with the office uh, there at info at amplepropertysolutions.com.au. Otherwise, they can call me direct on either my mobile and or my landline. So one 590 594 or alternatively 
53803. Thank you so much. Now, Joe, thank you so much for your time today. And I'm pretty obvious that whoever has been watching this now knows that they can get the right education, the right strategy, and the right team at Ample Property Solutions. Thank you so much, man. Thank you very much, Prosper. It was an absolute pleasure. Stuff. You've done this before, haven't you? Uh, potentially. <laughs> <laughs> oh, great, great stuff, great stuff. All right, I'm just going to stop recording so that we don't have any more editing to do. Uh...